So first of all, I want to discuss the theory with you guys. The theory is going to go something like this. So we are again going to utilize our kinematic equations and let me just change my pen here. So we have the displacement in the x direction as well as the initial velocity in the x direction. So that's our initial velocity times cosine of theta. That's the initial velocity in the x direction. We're still going to consider the idea that acceleration is zero in the x direction, which just means that it's negligible. It's not zero. There is something that's there. It's a force that's acting there, but it's negligible. So we have um, a sub x equals to zero. This implies, or we can therefore write that x f minus x initial is equal to the initial velocity, as long as we know that, and we know the angle of launch and the time of flight, we can calculate this equation. Okay, and the next equation that we're going to utilize is, uh, let me choose a different pen, is yf, it's the displacement in the uh, y direction times the initial velocity in the y direction times the time of flight. And again, this is plus one half a y t squared. So a y is again just going to be equal to a negative g. We can therefore write that y f minus y initial is just equal to the initial velocity uh, in the y direction times t minus one half g t squared. So the theory behind it, this thing is, okay, we know that we know our initial velocity and that's based on the last um, assignment. That's what we did. We calculated the initial velocity for the same kind of experiment, but now we want to change the angle. So we are going to measure the angle. So we'll know theta, okay? So we know the initial velocity, we'll know theta, but we don't know time right now. So we're gonna use the y equation to calculate time. I want you guys to recognize that the y equation is just a quadratic equation that can be rewritten as such. All right. So there's a solution to this quadratic equation. I'm not quite sure if you guys remember, but I don't want to belabor it or anything, but there is a solution and the solution looks like so. T is equal to a negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC divided by two A, where A is just a negative one half G. It is right here. Um, all right, and B is just equal to V naught sine theta. Of course, this is right here. And then we have C is just equal to a negative Y sub F minus y initial. And of course, that value can be found in this equation right here. All right. So we know how to solve it. We're going to allow this theory to guide us. Once we calculate the time, we ultimately want to be able to calculate the predict the range in the x direction. And it's going to look like this. It's going to be the initial velocity times cosine of the angle times t. And our t is going to go in here. We'll know our angle and we'll, we know our um, initial velocity. So that is the theory. 